Welcome back viewers, this is James Calm. So we're gonna run in here at the Allegra uh, Viola Gallery 179 East Broadway. And see a show that was curated by Jennifer Riley. Oh my god. This is an impressive piece is by Doreen McCarthy. And it's titled Archimedes Spiral. It's 96 inches tall by 120 inches. And it looks like she's taking a bunch of these pink beach inner tubes. Just attach them into a never ending spiral. Hey, look at that. James Esper. Oh, there are a couple of large pieces by a guy I know named Jim Long. This is the guy right here. Hey, congratulations. This piece is titled Painting for a Blue Wall. It's oil on canvas, 104 by 137 inches. And Jim has got a very unique process that he uses for uh, making these paintings. It's based on <laughs> dried milk or something. Oh, look, there's Irving Sandler. I think the premise behind the show is that upstairs we've got some large-scale work and then downstairs we've got the piccolini, the small work. bunch of the Williamsburg contingency out tonight. This is a good sized sculpture by Don Gummer. And it's titled Twins. It's painted aluminum. This is another painting not yet titled by Craig Fisher. And this is also a big painting. It's 112 by 168 inches. It's also acrylic on raw canvas. Well, now we're talking with the artist, Craig Fisher. So tell us a little bit about your painting. You know, I was saying it, a lot of it relates to the New York School because of the scale. Yeah, yeah it's definitely New York School and forward. Uh, it's done on the floor. It's raw canvas. Uh, it's a lot of color. It's direct. It's done in the moment. And hopefully the world looks a little bit different now than it did back then, so the structure of the painting is a little different. Is it important for you to feel like you're carrying on a legacy of the New York School? I, I don't know if it's important, it's just a fact. I mean, it's my, it's my heritage, those are my ancestors, and uh, it's a kind of very cool way to paint. I like the idea of improvisation. I'm a big jazz freak, and so anything that's improvisational and kind of free and fast, I dig. So you can't really complain about your family. That just happens to be where you were born, right? I mean, I had a choice. That's it. Okay, thanks, Craig. My pleasure. Thank you. Painting looks great. Thanks. Now we 
going to uh, look at the Piccolini end of things down here. This is a painting by David Brody. He's a well-known Williamsburg artist. This piece is by Craig Oates, and he's a, also a writer for the Brooklyn Rail. It's titled Witch Song. This piece is by Yasmin Keshtar, titled Crossfade. And unusually, this piece has got some realistic figuration in there, but it's kind of broken up. It's kind of uh, like digital cubism. This is the kind of static I see on my TV when I get a weak signal. Here we've got a very accomplished drawing by Tony Ingrisano. This is titled Submission 2009. And it's graphite on paper. We'll get up see if we can see some of the details on there. It's a lot of time grinding away with your extra sharp pencil there. We've got some more pieces here by Craig Olson. It's kind of nice, a trapezoidal shape. These are some works by Holly Miller. And these are acrylic and thread on canvas. She's drawing and breaking up her spaces with the thread. Oh, I kind of like that embossed quality of that area there. Well, now we're talking to the curator. Jennifer Riley, you want to give us a couple of uh, thoughts about your ideas for the show? Well, sure. Um, I wanted to. I wanted to first give these large works an opportunity to be seen because I had a feeling that they weren't being seen. A lot of artists make really big work that gets put away hidden in the lives. studio in somewhere. The studio, exactly. And I just happened to have a chance to get into several of these artists' studios. And um, but when I saw. Long's work in his studio just after I hatched the idea from seeing the new installation of the Emi Nobles and Dia recently last winter. Right. It, it just occurred to me that monumental scale is something that's missing a little bit here in the gallery scene if it doesn't have well I'm not going to go into that other thing but to, to do it. Right, we know marketing, marketing uh, initiatives and things and how about the uh, the smaller scale stuff? I think the contrast is uh, is a very interesting thing that you're playing with there. Yeah. Well, what I, I thought it would be really interesting to ask the people in the upstairs show to get into a conversation with some of the smaller scale works from younger contemporaries that I had met. And thought we're following a similar kind of working along the same seam or mining a similar vein, either philosophically or technically. And so I around and looked around and saw all of these um, great opportunities to make links between large works, small works, and, and um, process. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty noisy in here, Jennifer, so I'm going to let you go back to your adoring crowds. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. So this is James Com reporting on Jennifer Riley's Monumental and Puccellini here at the Allegra La Viola Gallery, 179 East Broadway. Thanks, Kate. <laughs>